What's going on YouTube? It's SCN, a place to be chill. i Mr. Andy. Back you guys on the W2K22 video here. And we got some news coming out over the past two days that I'm just now reporting on. I want to make sure that you guys get all the news. I mean, you probably already got it already, but you're hearing it from me because after we just got the release of the Most Wanted pack, now, of course, June 7th, these packs are coming out almost like less than a month apart. We have the Stand Back Pack, and we already know the Stand Back Pack consists of Hurricane and Stacey Keebler, A-Kid, and, of course, MSK, which is Nash Carter and Wesley. But due to the events of what happened with Nash Carter and taking that, you know, uh, that, that photo and accusations, they uh, has been confirmed that they have pulled him from the game. It is reported by Sports Gamer Online that with the release of Nash Carter back in April, uh, W2K22, uh, the fans were wondering if he was going to be pulled from the DLC, and he put an, an initial statement out that was going to be happening saying that it has been confirmed that he has been pulled from Stand Back Pack. And then, but this is the replacement, unfortunately. It, it, I quote, it says, with 2K's commitment to providing the most authentic representation of WWE's universe. The stand backpack has been updated to reflect the current WWE roster. W2K22 DLC packs provide the community with engaging and valuable content post launch to ensure there is always something new to discover in the ring. To deliver on that promise, the new update to the stand backpack now includes Booker T, Evo, and Seth Rollins' Emerald My Faction cards as bonus content in addition to the Hurricane Stacey Keebler, A-Kid, and Wes Lake. Me personally, I felt as though this was terrible. Honestly, I understand, yes, he had to be removed for the situation that was going on. I knew that was going to be coming. But with that statement right there and the replacement, obviously everybody was like, well, Cody's there, but obviously Cody's been, it's too late to scan Cody. Like, if they was going to put Cody in there, they should start that back in January, okay? So it can be released for DLC later on, like they did for Ronda Rousey. But when it comes to Cody, he's been there. You got you got scan, get the entrances, get the moves and all stuff right. He's going to be next year's game thing. He's probably going to be the cover. Who, never knew, who, who knows? But when it comes to the characters that's, that, the superstars that's not even in the game that I know could have been scanned from, from a Brian Breaker to a Caden Carter to a uh, e even uh, you know there's superstars like that is something I felt this though would have been a better replacement. Some people you already had scanner right? even a well they won't put Bronson Reed in there, but I'm just saying because when you do, you do my faction stuff, which I think is a disservice to. Look, I like my faction. It's not as good as my team because there's no online. It's not there's not that much stuff to do. Uh, when it comes to my faction opposed to my team, I love NBA. My that's all I play in NBA. But you're, you're saying you're giving us a Booker T Evo card when they already had Booker T cards in the game. Now, whether the, if this Booker T is going to have a, you already gave us King Booker from my rise. Then you have Booker T. Now, is he going to have a different attire? Probably not. He's just going to probably be regular Booker T. And then you got to do also to, to evolve him. And you're probably going to have to evolve him from an Emerald to a Sapphire. Then you're going to get an Emerald Seth Rollins where I just got a Sapphire Seth Rollins in the pack when they just had a, uh, not the, not the WrestleMania Rewind pack, the pack before that. And I was like, I already have a Seth Rollins, a better Seth Rollins when you talk about tears. It, even if they say, well, we're going to give you guys a diamond Booker T and a diamond Seth Rollins. I'm like, I don't know how that reflects the current product and stuff like that. So it was a very, very bad trade-off. I am not happy with this trade-off whatsoever. I felt as though that is a disservice to the fan base. And when you're 2K, I understand things have been going good for you guys right now, but you still got to get back in the good graces of your fan base and, and have that trust. That right there, I think it's just a letdown because that's not what I paid for. It's different if they just put themselves in the game because they promised us. But no, we paid for this. We, a lot of community out there, we paid for the season pass. We paid for a deluxe edition. We paid for five characters or more in each DLC pack. So if you're going to take out a character, it should replace it. And I feel as though with the new NXT 2.0 arena, why not? You could put a Kate and Carter in there, putting my faction stuff in there. And you don't even have a way for us to go into my faction and to play and earn the different alternate attire. They just got the new DX pack that came out. And you can get the 98 Triple H. It's the old Triple H with the with the green and the, the three H's right there. And, and he it's he looks young. I'm like, I would love to play him with that next exhibition, but can I if you're not gonna have online in my faction, why not have us uh grind my faction to to unlock those things for exhibition mode, you know, to balance not having the online like nba does but you know unfortunately that's that's the case so there's no be no nash carter but however that, that's what the new pack's going to be also 
even though on the on the flip side of things 2k has been doing very great because now they have confirmed that 2k23 is going to be a thing that is actually right 2k23 has been confirmed and that has been confirmed uh that the, the series is, it came out with a bang and then that is going to be coming back next year now we don't know if the thing is going to if they're going to release it by march or they're going to try to release it later on this year i'm pretty sure it's by march because of the way the numbers have looked because they have done a really good job because uh there have been exemplary over 140 million in-game matches already played and over 5.6 million hours of content on twitch and they have outsold their previous two 2k20 and 2k19 in within the first month of the release of 2k22 and then uh so they they, they, they they sold really well now the question is that and this also came out in march which is holiday season is the, the biggest time to do that but then once again you have to ask yourself was it march or was it because we haven't had a 2k game in over a year and fans are really clamoring for that so i don't know they may want to test the waters on that i'm not sure but guys that is all the 2k news i have for you guys today at rustic updates so Post any comments down below. How you guys feel about it? Who would you have to replace Nash Card in DLC? How you guys feel about 2K23? And if it is, would you want it to come out this year or would you want for it to come out next year? And we think the best solution for it will be going forward. Post any comments down below. Hit the like button if you guys enjoyed my breakdown of it. Make sure you subscribe here for more W2K22 news right here and all rest of the games right here on NC Studios. So once again, it's NC and place to be. Channel 20, Mr. Andy and their coalition is out.